say happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. How y'all doing this fine Wednesday? I am doing well. Thank you for asking. I know you did. I came on briefly just to talk to y'all for a minute. I'm putting on me some dinner. Don't y'all get jealous. I'm cooking a gourmet meal. Yes, I am. Hold on one second. Because I know you wondering what you cooking, girl. Bam! Some Oscar Mayer wieners. Yep. Yep. Sure is. Some Oscar Mayer beef wieners. I'm going to have me slaw, dog. I still got some of that slaw left from when I had the fish the other day. So, I'm going to rinse these off. And I'm getting ready to put them on the air fryer. Take me off, too. Don't know that I'm going to eat two, but I'm going to put two in this air fryer. Turn this air fryer on. About 12 minutes. I'm going to eat me some mustard and slaw on it. I don't have, that's good enough. I don't have no chips or nothing here. Anyway. So, y'all, let me grab y'all. We'll go over here and sit down. Whew. How was your day today? How was your day? Did y'all hump today? I did. I went into the office today. And, yeah, I've actually already been in three days this week. But I have to go in on tomorrow. Let me put on some glasses so I can halfway see. Because I have to go to a meeting at 9. Y'all, I want to tell y'all. I'm just ran back in this recliner here. That I um really thank y'all for sharing everything about your fathers, your husbands, your uncles. They were really beautiful. And I don't know if everybody else didn't get a chance to read them if you didn't. Go back and read the messages. I try not to reply when it's a, um, it's a, um, giveaway because I don't want anybody to think I'm, you know, being biased or anything to anybody's particular comments. And I was like, man, I want this person, because I know me, I'm like, man, I'm like, they, they need this. Then the next person, oh, they need this. I mean, just to hear the stories of y'all sharing, and it's just like, it was just such a blessing. And, I'm, I'm so glad that I'm able to give something away. And I don't do too much, y'all, because it's a lot for me to. I probably could have separated the stuff, but it's a lot for me to have to do all the mailing and shipping and all of that. But I still want to try to give away and bless others, you know, if I can. But uh, I'm going to uh, congratulations to the winner. And what I need you to do is send me an email with your address on there. I did the random giveaway, and I'll just slip that in right here. Got it? Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, you know what to do. Send me your email and I'll get that out to you. So you can have that to your person, the special man in your life for Father's Day and time for Father's Day. And again, congratulations and blessings to everyone that entered the contest. And y'all know that I'll be having something. I don't know how soon I'll have another one because we did one for the cruise. We did one for Mother's Day. We did one for uh, Father's Day. So, so they've been kind of back to back. But hopefully we'll be able to have another one pretty soon. Plus, I do a lot of things on over on TikTok. And uh, I've been blessed with some things that... I hope that will bless others. And my girlfriend left something here she wanted me to do in a giveaway. But I'm actually thinking about trying to give some uh, accessories like handbags and things of that nature to the woman's shelter here. And uh, so they can have some, you know, because a lot of times they leave domestic violence situations with a, with a, um, nothing. And so, you know, you want to try to bless them if you can. Um, so, uh, yeah, some, like, handbags, new handbags, and, in fact, I got one I haven't carried here, and then I got a couple I got to uh, uh, promote over on my 
page on TikTok. So I'm going to most definitely um, try to uh, take those things and take them down to the you know shelter for the ladies. But anyway, that's about all I got going on over here. I was really kind of sleepy when I got off work. Well, I went to an appointment um, when I first left. And then when I got home, I was just kind of a little tired, tired. So I um, actually dozed off for about 30, 40 minutes over here, right here. You know, so I didn't even like normally. I don't get undressed right when I get off work. But I, uh, when I got home... That appointment wore me out for one thing. And when I got home, I went and took the garbage down to the street because our garbage man <clears throat> runs tomorrow. So Amber was sitting there. It's raining day. When I talked to her earlier, <clears throat> I can't quite get my throat clear. So I did that part. Then I said, oh, I could have emptied trash back in the back room. But the garbage man may beat me out tomorrow because normally I leave the house at five something in the morning to be at work, but I don't have to be at this particular, uh, it's another facility. It's uh, off 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 the campus I normally work on, but the meeting started at nine, so I'll get there about 8.30, you know, so I don't have to really, you know, leave the house. Probably the garbage man will probably beat me because our garbage man be over here early running, you know. But anyway, that's that for that. I need to get myself back together I don't know why cheese has been mom. I guess I don't eat it fast enough. But like the little sliced cheese and like the little cheese, it be uh, moldy now in my refrigerator. I went to get some this morning, some little sliced cheese. I didn't even have that long. It wasn't supposed to be out, but it had mold. It had some mold on it, so I threw it in the garbage. My coworker had these things he had got from uh, Aldi, and I think I want to go in and see if I can try them. I asked him where he got them from. They like the hard salami, right? And the, um, it's a spicy hard salami and some spicy cheese. He said it was like $2 or something, if I'm not mistaken. Has anybody had those? I said I was going to try to go into Aldi tomorrow and see if I can get me a couple of those. Because I think they would be good to eat, you know, you know, an adult lunch. Well, I'll throw some crackers with that. And let that be that for that. But anyway... So that's what's going on on my neck of the woods, y'all. I'm steady yawning. I'm kind of sleeping. I thought, you know how that little nap had did me a little cat nap. You know, you take a little cat nap, a little five-minute cat nap, you know. But it was about 30, 30-something 30 minutes I had dozed off in the chair. The only reason why I woke up is because I had to go to the bathroom. I probably would have still been asleep had I not had to use the restroom. And I said, you better go on and get you something to eat so you won't be eating late tonight, so... And it was like, you got two options. Make you a salad or a hot dog. So the hot dog going out. And you over this over there in the, in the air fryer. Like I said, I had some of that slaw left anyway. And if I get hungry, I got some sliced up. Uh, I had two plums for breakfast this morning. I ate two plums. And I actually, well, I don't know, kind of. It was like 10 something. I ate a pouch of buffalo tuna. That's all I ate. I don't, at work. I'm not, I don't know, kind of, I don't know, my mind was telling me to put it on crackers, but I left the crackers, I was going to put the buffalo tuna here, I had some more crackers at home, but I didn't want it on the Ritz, so I left some of them hot Tennessee crackers here, I was going to put the buffalo tuna on those, but like I said, it didn't work out, I just ate the tuna out the package, and that gave me some protein, I said, at least I had me some protein, that was my protein, and I need to get some more of those, I like those, because I can eat those just plain, so, I uh, ate that and ate two plums today at work and drank two bottles of water before I left. And like I said, so I was real hungry. When I got home, I threw a couple of those little mini quiches in the air fryer. I ate those and some cucumbers. <laughs> Get y'all some cut off. And now I'm eating a hot dog. So, yeah. That's my gourmet, uh, what you eating today, today, for today. So, yeah, that's me today, honey. It's been one on one. Oh, Lord. Oh, man, these little weeks be going by so fast. I was sitting up there looking at my vacation time. 
and I was telling my coworker, I see what they used to call our time. We have some flex time. We have our vacation weeks, and then we have flex time. We used to be two floating days and two personal days. Now they calling it flex time, so it don't matter. It's still days, so I'm trying to figure out when I gotta use. I have to use up a week of. Our fiscal year started June 1st, and I carried over one week. So I have to use up a week before the end of August. But you know my birthday is the first week of August, but the first week be busy. So my birthday is falling on a Saturday this year. So I think, I'm thinking about taking that week after my birthday off, week after that Saturday. I'm not sure yet because I got to use that week up. And then I, I normally have a week to carry over. Well, I get five weeks of vacation, two personal and two floating, which is birth virtually six weeks. And then I got that week I'm carrying over, so it's like seven weeks off. So I got to at least use up that week before the end of August is use it or lose it. I ain't got no time for to be giving no time. You know that. But we're going on another cruise, and we're going on a cruise in February. It's a little short one, though. We're not going on a long cruise. We just got a little short cruise in February out of New Orleans. We got a big one scheduled for the next February 2026 that Amber wanted to go. I wanted to go on the ABC Islands, but Amber said uh, we'd have to leave out Miami again. That Miami was a long drive. I told her I wanted to do something at least I could do in a day. But I don't really, from what I can remember, Jacksonville is not my favorite port. But we're going to try to go out of Galveston for one. We're going to try to go out to, I think we're going to try to go out of Galveston. I've never been out of Galveston, so we're going to try that port to see how that is. That's a nice drive, too, you know. So it's not like we live next door and can just get, New Orleans is probably the closest port to us. It's not like we just drive an hour down the street and be on the boat, you know. But anyway, so that's that for that. But I'm not going to hold y'all again. I just want to tell you know the person congratulations and get me your you know i want to do it in time so because i'm slow so if i don't get it in the mail to you this week i definitely will get to uh to to the fedex or the post office or somewhere on by monday or tuesday so you can have it in time for father's day which is next sunday and like i said it was some beautiful sentiments about your husbands your fathers your uncles your brothers just in the comments and it was so beautiful to read and i think sometimes fathers don't realize they are appreciated like they are that you know they're they're thought of and sometimes we don't express that to them you know that the things that they do matter and mean something so if you can't do anything else express your gratitude and appreciation to your father or the special man in your life coming up do it on a regular but if you can't do it on a regular especially do it you know on father's day so, let me get up here, y'all. My my hot dog is going off. So, y'all, I got to go fix this gourmet meal. Yes, I do. Oh. Ah. Whew. Child, sister, stiff is all outdoors. Come on in here. Come on in the room. Oh. Let me get me a paper plate. I'm gonna keep it light, light, light and tight, light, light and tight. Somebody out there make all kind of commotion. I think my neighbor getting a trash can on the street. Getting a trash can on the street. Whew. Sometimes it ain't nothing like. Oh, sorry, y'all. It ain't nothing like putting together these little, these little quick something to eat in the evening time. I'm making a mess over here. Oh, my Lord. Hold on one minute, y'all. Oh. I had some grease on that stove. And I drop the bread down in the grease. Can we do something better than that? 
I'll move that bread over something else. Cause that ain't gonna work. Make some grease out there to put in the container to throw away. So, all the things that have happened, that wasn't something I needed to happen. What y'all eat on y'all hot dogs? What you eat on your hot dogs? Do you like, do you like mustard and guess y'all say you can't get this right for nothing. And I can't, and I can't. That turned out real nice there on the air fry. Y'all better air fry y'all some hot dogs. It ain't nothing like it. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. Mmm. Delicious also. And there you have it, y'all. Dinner is served. Let me say my grace. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food I'm about to receive. For the nourishment of my body. In Christ's name, amen. I'm going to take a bite with y'all of this gourmet meal. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all better have some. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's good. Mmm. That's real good. Anyway, I'm going to get off here. Again, congratulations to the winner. I want you to know you love. I love you. But God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Love y'all. Bye.